Hey everyone, this is Allison with Stitches and Stuff Studio. Have I got a fun project for you today. I'm redoing the Seven Chakras shirt because I just wasn't sure that I loved the results with the first shirt. I'm starting out with a standard all over scrunch that I will fasten with several rubber bands. The four die colors that I'm using today are Glacier Blue, Ice Blue, Mist Gray, and Silver Lining. I'm sprinkling them on in a nice even layer over the entire surface of the shirt, and then I'll cover it all up with a good layer of ice. The ice has been melting for about two hours and we're starting to see some fabric peeking through. Five hours into the melting process and the ice is just about gone. The shirt batched for 48 hours after the ice melted and now it's time for the rinse out. I'll start with cool water and rinse out all the soda ash and remaining dye. Then it's off to the washing machine for a warm wash with some fabric detergent. I'm using seven circles that I cut out of contact paper to help me line up the stitching for the seven chakras on the back of the shirt. I'm using a needle and thread to stitch around the edge of the contact paper that I placed on as a guideline. I'll repeat this for each of the seven chakra circles. I've cinched up the thread on each of the chakra circles and now I'll wrap each one tightly with waxed sinew. Now that the base of each circle has been tightly wrapped with sinew, it's time for some dye. I'm using the tumble dyes from SEI. I think they're called tumble dyes because they need to be heat set, either by an iron or by a clothes dryer. I've seen some reviews from disappointed customers who said the dye washed out. I think maybe it washed out for them because they forgot to heat set it. Anyway, I haven't had a problem with any of this dye yet. I let the dye dry for two days and then I snipped the threads open 
and laid out the circles and used a warm iron to completely flatten each of the circles. Now it's time for the chakra symbols. I'm using stencils and some sparkly gold fabric paint to create these designs. I let the gold paint on the chakra symbols dry for two days and now it's time to work on the front of the shirt. I'm using a large stencil that I sprayed with stencil adhesive to help me create the design. I'm starting with glittery gold paint for the center chakra design and then I'll work my way through the seven chakra colors. By the way, I'm really taking my time and applying this paint slowly even though it might not look like it in the video. I took over two hours of video footage um, for this YouTube video and I compressed it down to less than 10 minutes. This part of the video has been sped up 20 times faster than normal. So here it is. I'm really happy with the way the shirt turned out. It took a lot of time to tie each of the chakra circles separately, but I think it really paid off with how they look. I'm also really glad that I used the gold paint on the front instead of the black like I did with the last shirt. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did you like the previous shirt better or do you like this one better? Thank you for watching and subscribing and sharing this channel with your artsy craftsy friends. I really appreciate it. Until next time, go add some color to your world and create a tie-dye project. <laughs>